When Luke Skywalker asked Yoda, what's in the cave? His response was a simple, only what you take with you. As we approach the introduction of cave systems in the Star Citizen universe, and the FPS mining and gameplay that goes with them, only what you take with you is at the heart of the new personal commodity inventory feature, our first step towards a larger world of player inventory systems. Personal commodity inventory is the first step on the way to the full personal inventory. And what the personal commodity inventory does is it allows you to be able to pick up commodities after you've mined them and then actually put those commodities onto your armor or into your backpack. Now obviously how this differs from a regular personal inventory is that a personal inventory would normally be able to store items. So you'd be able to put small you know, guns or uh, magazines or other different items like a big Benny's box and store them in your inventory. But the personal commodity inventory is just a specialized inventory that only stores commodities. Now when we talk about commodities, you're talking about like FPS mineables, which will obviously be releasing in uh, sync alongside the personal commodity inventory, or it'll be other pre-existing commodities that you can buy within Star Citizen right now. As a part of the functionality for the, the mining loop, what we want you to be able to do is be able to go down, mine some things or mine the commodities, place them in your backpack, and then head back to your ship and actually empty your inventory into your cargo grid on your ship. So to allow you to do this, what we've been able to do is access your inventory via the personal and thought menu. So the personal and thought menu will be able to go into interact mode, select the PIP, the interaction PIP that will display, or you'll be able to use the associated hotkey. That will take you into your personal inventory. You'll be able to see all the items that you've collected and you'll be able to do a few things from that menu. First, you'll be able to drop individual items, which will then drop them on the floor, but you'll also be able to select a store all button. Now the store all functionality will basically store all of the things that are inside your backpack at that particular moment in time and store them in a cargo box at your feet. So you'll be able to load up your backpack and then go to the ship, unload into a cargo box, and then when you go to the kiosk, you'll be able to sell those items as loot items directly from your ship, or you'll be able to access those items directly from your core if you have them already stored in there. That's the first step. Obviously, later down the line, we'll hope to be actually introduce the, the item functionality as part of the iCash system, which will allow us to store all of the things that you collect and over and above commodities, but this is the first step in that direction. The Harbinger and the Sentinel, two Vanguard variants with kick-ass names and devastating purposes. They're well on their way towards inclusion into the upcoming Alpha 3.7. Let's take a look now through their modular interiors and still progressing paint jobs. So this is the uh, Vanguard Sentinel. Right now the color scheme on this is, uh, is temporary. We're kind of experimenting uh, just to see what we can do. The actual exterior of the Vanguard Sentinel is the same body as the Warden and the Hoplite. The actual weaponry and armaments are different. The main thing that changes with the uh, Vanguard Sentinel is the central uh, habitation pod. So this is where the uh, E-War gameplay is going to be taking place. So the actual terminal, it's like a, a larger version of what you have in uh, the Vanguard Warden. He has some screens for diagnostics. Right now they're using uh, temporary displays um, just for some uh, movement and life within this habitation pod. But I imagine in the future they could be replaced with uh, diagnostics and uh, relevant information for, for what you're doing. This entire area is uh, almost based around a, an aircraft carrier. One really cool feature about aircraft carriers is they have um, like big glass displays uh, which are illuminated you can, and you can draw on and you can see through these, so I wanted to try and get one of those in there. And also it's kind of based around um, things you might have seen from other sci-fi shows as well. Some features uh, in here are the same as the Warden. You've got like a bathroom and a uh, galley and some beds still. The, uh, the main feature is this uh, hacking station. So the difference between the Sentinel and the Harbinger, mainly visible on the interior. Here we have the new Harbinger torpedo room. One of the uh, biggest appeals of Vanguard Harbinger is being able to watch the torpedoes launch. I think uh, I've seen on, on, online some of the fans are quite eager to watch that. And the Sentinel and the uh, Harbinger should prove quite fun uh, variants of the uh, Vanguard. One thing that's um, still going to change about the Vanguard Harbinger is obviously where these torpedoes are going to get fired from. There'll be a uh, hatch underneath the ship so you can you know, see the torpedo go from inside the ship to uh, you know, firing away. The mechanism will be completely viewable. Hopefully you'll get as much fun from playing these things as I have from making them. So we look forward to uh, showing the, the finished off paint schemes in the future. The flight and operation of spaceships is at the very heart of the Star Citizen experience, with work continuing on all aspects of performance and application, 
including a new feature coming online soon called Proximity Assist, which aims to make the maneuvering around and inside of larger objects just a little bit easier. So in 3.6, we introduced hover mode. So I'm going to jump into the game and show you what we have been working on as an improvement to this. First of all, you'll notice that the uh, sort of helicopter aspects of hover mode uh, have been removed. We decided that this was not really, um, it wasn't very intuitive and it wasn't really achieving what we wanted. Um, so we've gone back to the drawing board and what we wanted actually was softer, more believable, realistic flying. And so if I fly low to the ground and I sort of maneuver like this, you can almost immediately see how much slower the ship is. Whereas if I, you know, accelerate up and fly away, then you sort of get the normal handling that we always had with the Gladius. And so this feature is called Proximity Assist. Um, it's pretty much completed now. Um, and the goal behind this is to dynamically um, manage the ship's accelerations to keep the ship slow and a little bit more sort of believable motion when you're flying in atmosphere and low to the ground. So the goal with this is obviously to try and make the handling of the ship feel a little bit more believable and softer and not as like this jerky kind of mess all over the place. This fits a lot better with the lore of the game. You know, proximity assist is this assistive feature in the flight control system. You can turn it off and on. And one thing we're gonna try is reducing the efficiency of the thrusters in atmosphere so that you get weaker uh, thrusters in atmosphere, we can get a little bit closer to, to like real aircraft flying. And that in combination with this proximity assist feature should really solve the problem that hover mode didn't adequately solve. So what did we learn about this week? We learned that personal commodity inventory is the foundational tech that will make FPS mining and later player inventory possible. That the promise of the Vanguard line of ships is another step closer to its fuller realization. And that when it comes to landing our spacecraft, some of us can use all the help we can get talking about me. To our subscribers, our thanks for making this show and others like it possible. And to everyone in the Star Citizen community, be sure you tune in to tomorrow's All About Development edition of Star Citizen Live, where we'll be answering your questions about the development of the roadmap in general. Until next time. Thanks for watching. For the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42, you can subscribe to our channel or you can check out some of the other shows. And you can also head to our website at www.robertsspaceindustries.com. Thank you very much for watching.